perhaps no invention in the 20th century has had as significant impact as the computer. What the PC revolution needed had been invented a decade before at Xerox PARC, software which made a computer easy enough for a child to use. But Xerox had failed to commercialize their great vision. It would be up to someone else to deliver it to the world. That person was Steve Jobs. One day in 1979, he visited the Xerox laboratories and was astonished at what he saw. And it was just instantly obvious to anyone that this was the way things should be. Um, and so I remember coming back to Apple thinking, our, our future has just changed. This is where we have to go. Steve Jobs had seen the light. His challenge was to build a computer which was not only small and affordable, but so intuitive a child could use it. Such a computer might not only change the course of computing, but prevent the mighty IBM from taking over the PC industry. Here to accept for the machine that changed the world is John Paul Freeman, executive producer. When I was sitting at the table, I had an interesting thought that when the Peabody Awards began 53 years ago, there wasn't a single computer in existence. When the first one was built in 1945, it was so big, so expensive, and so fast, people thought the world would only ever need six of them. Now today, I'm standing here, it's my honor, accepting an award for a series about the history of this machine. I would like to thank the University of Georgia on behalf of the production team, especially producers Nancy Lindy, Bob Hone, and Fiona Holmes. I'd like to thank also WGBH, the BBC, and PBS for their support. Paula Rapsall, the director of the Nova Science Unit, for help and encouragement. And finally, the men and women who forged and are forging the computer age for letting us tell their story. Thank you very much.